Cone Bonwa, good evening, Enclave. That's right, if you're watching this, you are now a member of the Enclave, or you've already been a member of the Enclave if you're returning. It is I, look at the Mad Titan, and welcome back to the Enclave mod, America Rising 2, where you can go full Enclave and side with them. That's not Heather. <laughs> I just think it's funny that I'm on him, and it's like Command Heather, who's who's behind him and it's acting like he's not there there is Heather he's so big you couldn't even see Heather this is Captain Peterson but it's like command Heather and she was it looked like he had a fox tail it's actually Heather that's my girlfriend I'm playing as Isabel Steele Isabel Steele was uh, or was is a subscriber I've been kind of MIA for the past couple months hopefully uh, she is well but uh, very active in the community in regards to uh, commenting on episodes and um, really being interested in my content. So I created her as a character in uh, Whispering Hills. And we did the whole Whispering Hills series. We're like a big boy. We're meaning no cheats. And um, that was challenging. And then we brought her over to this series. Because both Daniel, who is another regular, and Isabella had suggested this series. And Isabel had suggested using Heather as a companion while I did this series, so this series was kind of, uh, tailored towards, uh, you know, some of the subscribers' interests. Uh, if you're new to the channel, Dozi Roscoe and Agaijimas. If you're new to the series, Hajimi Mashde. Both mean welcome. Look at the blood splatter. If you are a regular, like Daniel, like Isabella, and many others, Okai Renus I, welcome back. Welcome home. Thank you so much for spending time with me. So what we're going to do this episode, and I already messed up, is Captain Peterson staying with me? I don't want him to stay with me. If he is. Uh, we, we're we're going to be doing all Heather stuff. At least to start off with. I can't remember if he's staying with me or not. Excuse me, officer. Got your back, ma'am. Oh. Okay. That's... I mean, I guess it's okay. Why is he... Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh, just... Okay, wait, something's gonna happen. <laughs> it's It never just says exit a place. So, so what, something's gonna happen when we exit? Alright, my plan, my plan was to do is uh, was to do Heather stuff this episode, but I don't know what's about to happen when we exit Mass Fusion, because I feel like that's... It could be nothing, but that feels ominous to me. And it just auto-saved. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if, if, if that's just, uh... A red herring if it's just tricking me into thinking something's going to happen when nothing in fact is going to happen. I did just have somebody brand new uh, comment on the series, I think the last episode, and I did not write down your name. I'm sorry. I will do so, and yeah, I will give you a shout out in the next episode. I always try to do that whenever somebody new subscribes and comments. I give shout outs to everybody. If you ever want me to give a shout out to you, nobody's ever asked. I feel like that's weird. <laughs> Nobody has ever. I, I always. I used to say it a lot in every episode, but I don't say it anymore. But. Uh, they said I'm. I'll say pretty much anything within reason. So if you want me to, um, you know, say something funny to uh, you or to a friend. All right. So now it's just just bring the brilliant match. I thought maybe we might get attacked by like a wave of dudes or something, but now it's just just like why didn't it just say that from the beginning? Why would it? Alright, is Captain Peterson gone now? Is that what the difference is? That seems odd also. Yeah, I don't know why it would say exit mass fusion and then why didn't we just go straight to bring the Burly Magistrate to Chief Myers? Okay, but anyway, that's not what I want to do. I want to do... We're going to do some tour of the Commonwealth. I'm going to try. We've done so many. I can't remember what these last three places are. Um, Sweet Revenge. Sweet Revenge. We've been doing this you know, the whole time. We've done all of these things. Because Heather has a couple quests. We finally killed 50 cents. 
with Heather, chat, and then we chatted with Heather, and she wants to go to University Point. So we're going to do that, and we will also try to finish. I gave her the Alien Blaster. I gave her Grognak's Axe. It doesn't seem to recognize it, but she also wanted... Um, Kellogg's clothes also and I did that too why is that not on the list I'm not sure but that is definitely something that she wanted and I gave her because if you go into her inventory she should have all of that stuff and in this one I mean I haven't given her the mutated ferns so technically she has three quests but this one I don't know I wanted to not I wanted to say Heather loves me. But I, I, I need mutated ferns. But then the rest of these are just this is what happens if you do this. This is what happens if you do this. So Alright, University Point. How far away are we from that? Oh my god. Uh, pretty far away, and we've never been there before. Big John Salvage. That's not. She wants the. Oh, <sighs> without using a map. All right, now we've been to that one. We've been to the robotics disposal ground. Yeah, I just don't remember where the other freaking places are. There's one near. There's one near uh, Ironworks, right? Saugus Ironworks. I don't remember where that is either. I'm absolutely terrible at remembering where things are. I might just go grab a map. I have it on my tablet. But anyway, we're going to do this. Why did I leave? Because we're going to fast travel, so we're closer. Let's go to the South Boston Military Checkpoint. That's the closest we are to where we need to be. We will also obviously do some Enclave stuff. But those are the two mods for this series. America Rising 2, the Enclave mod. And Heather, this companion mod. No idea how close we are to completing America Rising 2. I feel like we're a decent ways through it because it runs parallel to the main storyline. And we've been... We're pretty fairly deep into the main storyline, which is funny because, like, I've not really done any vanilla, except for when absolutely necessary. All right, it's dark. Your clicking seems louder. Who's that over there? Just, just a raider. I don't even remember what gun I'm using. Oh my god. Yeah, we still can't aim for anything. Alright. I don't know. So normally just a raider camp right over there. I don't like exploring at night generally. There's a bed in here, isn't there? We we'll have a quick night night just to make it daytime. If you are in distress. Uh, how would you sleep in here, though? It's so annoying. So there's our power armor. Wait. This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion, and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. Here, Vertebird. Oh wait, over there. Who's that? Is that one of ours? Can't tell. Which vertebrate are you? Come on. If it's... Say, if it was somebody else's, I would want to kill it, but... It just says vertebrate, but it's... 60. Oh, it's one of ours. Okay. Alright, who are they fighting, though? Man. Alright, I kinda don't want to help. Well, I'll let the sentry bot see if the sentry bot can kill the legendary. 
And maybe I might get something cool. How we doing? Uh, not super great. All right, well, so much for uh, take the fusion cores. All right, who? Oh, all right, so they're just they just for some reason it does not want to advance the super mutants. They've decided to go to war with the super mutants over here, but again, but again, will not focus on the super mutants. There we go. Do I want to help? Part of me still doesn't want to help. But I don't think they're going to be able to kill the sergeant. I think I've killed all super mutants here recently. So I don't know, even know how many of them there, there are. He's doing okay. Where's the... Um, I don't care about the vertebrate. Did they finally kill him? I think they finally killed the Enforcer. The specialist is just chilling. Alright, what? All right, you're landing. They're straight up landing. Did the... Did the Enforcer... Happen to take out the... Legendary? Wait, what? I'm out of here. Wait, what's happening? Thought I was a mutant hound? No, no, no. No, thank you. Stop biting me. Seriously, what? Oh, there we go. Are you the? Are you the legendary? No. Where is the legendary? Heather, don't help them. <laughs> So instead of the Brotherhood of Steel coming here to take them out, the Enclave came here to take them out. That's pretty cool. Where... Where... Where did the Legendary go, though? Seriously, now. If he's not dead... That's fine. Oh, he's... He's back on the plane. Um, oh, I just tried using my jetpack, but I left my power <laughs> back over there, so jetpacks are not going to work. What is happening over here? You dancing? Yeah, 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 uh, 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 all right, anyway, sorry about that. I'm going to go back to my original plan, which was just to have a night-night. And all that shenanigans happened, and I was hoping to get a legendary out of it, but nope. Wasn't meant to be. Alright, real quick before that thing starts chirping. Let's get a nice nine hours. Oh my god. Seriously, how would you sleep with this going on? I, I couldn't. Best sleep ever. We cuddled the whole time. Cuddling is um, say some some of the controversial here. <laughs> Cuddling is overrated. If you're in a new relationship, snuggling yes, snuggling is amazing. Snuggling yes, cuddling no. Because cuddling implies like that you're going to sleep. Can I turn this off? I can't remember if there's a way for me to turn off this. And that's certainly not how to use a computer. No, you can't turn it off. All right, let's just get out of here. Yeah, because there's this thing called body heat. <laughs> Snuggling never never goes. Snuggly's not a permanent thing. Like you, you're like I'm saying the wrong thing. Cut, cuddling is not a permanent thing. Like it's it's it, it's it, it has a time frame on it. Whereas snuggling, you can snuggle up on the couch like all night long. 
and it will be fine. All right, so we're going to University Point. But yeah, if, you know, you know what I mean. If you've ever been in a long-term relationship and you're trying to snuggle with your significant other, look at how many places I haven't discovered over here. It's driving me crazy. All right, but we'll go to University Point first, which I swear we've been to, but clearly have not. I mean, maybe if you're tiny little things, I don't know. But eventually, you get, exactly you get. The same. I thought it'd be different somehow, you know? All right, that's it. We didn't even really have to get in. I walk away. Hey. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. I hit the wrong button. Jesus, Lord. But anyway, you can see she has the alien blaster. She has Grognak's axe. She has... I swear she, you know, see, she still has a Kellogg's outfit. Let's try it. Let's try to again. Hit the right button this the time. The institute destroyed this place. Wiped out everything. Can we chat? I wanted to ask you about something else. Can we chat? Can we chat? Sure. Uh, chat with Heather. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Guess I should tell you about that day. It was raining. The kind that falls gently and makes everything a little blurry, like you're looking at it through a window. Georgie and I were drinking tea, just hanging out, shooting the shit, waiting for customers. It was just a day. Nothing okay, this is super annoying. No warning. Is someone present? Trying to get a story, man. Whose vertebrate is that? Oh my god. Metal girl. Oh my god, why so many are attacking now? Very annoying. Very annoying. Trying to get some story. Why did you not spawn earlier? Go to sleep. No time for your shenanigans. Oh my god. Please die. Has there ever been a canon explanation for legendaries? Like, why Why are they glowing? Uh, that's not great. Okay, where did Heather go? She was telling me a story. Alright, she's still shooting at something. we can restart the story. Alright. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Okay, just... Hopefully you'll you have not broken that. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you? Where are you going, bro? Oh my god. Like the worst cover ever, and somehow it's right he's right there. He's right. You are nothing but a pile of scrap now, Sim. Oh, he's right there. I can't even see this. Seriously? Oh my God, I made it. You're terminated, fucker. You, you terminated, fucker. Right, yep. Oops. <laughs> Oops. That was me repeating, repeating Heather. Does that count? I guess that counts. Those hey. Whack, hack, shoot those synths. Hack and whack and smacking. I don't. I'm not trying to pick the razor grain. I'm trying. Can we maybe come over here? Hopefully your story still You can start from the beginning, it's fine. We got interrupted. Don't walk away. Hey. What's up? Hey partner. Can we chat? I'd like that. What's on your mind? Guess I should tell you about that day. Woo! 
It was raining. The kind that falls gently and makes everything a little blurry, like you're looking at it through a window. Georgie and I were drinking tea, just hanging out, shooting the shit, waiting for customers. It was just a day. Nothing special, you know? No hint, no warning, just bam. It was on. Blue and white lights flashing in the sky, and everywhere you look, there's a synth. Um, I was going to say, oh my god. Oh my god. They were everywhere. In the buildings, on top of the buildings, and they came out hitting hard with lasers in those goddamn batons. It was chaos. People screaming and trying to get away. The fuckers chased down every single kid to make sure they died, along with the rest of us. Can you imagine doing that to kids? We fought back the best we could, but there were just too many of them. In the end, a synth got me in the face with one of those fucking batons and knocked me down and out. When I came to, Georgie was lying dead next to me. I laid next to Georgie for hours, waiting for them to stop killing, to stop searching, and to just stop being there. Worst part, Georgie's life fading away while I lay there, listening to the gruff-voiced motherfucker suck on his cigars. Want to know why the Institute destroyed the whole place? Why? A traitor sold us out to the Institute. One of the regulars, probably. Cricket. Or someone that's disappeared since then. No one knows for sure. If I knew it was Cricket, I would have put her down like a rad stag. But I don't. So, someone else gets to pay for Georgie's death. Which is why I kill since. And needed to find that scar-faced, cigar-smoking, sister-killing, motherfucking Kellogg. Someone needs to destroy the Institute. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Um, let's destroy the Institute. Someone needs to destroy the Institute. Sounds impossible when you say it out loud, but yeah, that's what we need. You know, I had nightmares for months. I still dream about Georgie, but they're mostly nice now. You know, we're just talking and hanging out. I miss her so much. It was so unfair. One minute she was alive, and the next just dead, right in front of me, and there was nothing I could do about it. Life is, life is unfair. I saw my husband killed, son taken, and was powerless to stop it. I understand. As what happened to my family, I can understand. Are you going somewhere with it? I'm going to start being rude to her all of a sudden. I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Well, we'll just go with why. After what happened to my family, I can understand. Your sympathy means a lot to me. And thanks. Thanks for bringing me here. I needed it. Needed to shut down that chapter of my life. Question is, what am I going to do now? Guess it's time to start the next chapter. All right. Chat with Heather. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? I have a very personal question for you. I hope you don't mind. Do you still love your husband? Think about him. Wish he was here with you. Uh, stop being around the bush. Just say what's on your mind. Why do you ask? I don't want to talk about this. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. I'm just going to say, why do you ask? Why do you ask? You don't know? I'm falling in love with you. Yeah. If you tell me now that you'll never feel this way about me. I promise, I'll never bring it up again. But if there's a chance you could ever feel the same way about me, tell me now, please. Heather is in love with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. One day, maybe, I'm still getting over lost my husband. Screw Nate. Uh, don't know, I never really thought we're just friends, nothing more. I'm still not sure I feel I need Oh, come on, what? Uh, uh, wh why is there no yes option? Oh, Jesus. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to pick one. Uh, I still do. Oh, uh, 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 not B. I don't like Y, so I'm between X and A. X and A. Don't know. Remember, I have thought about it. Um, I'm gonna say A. I'm still not sure how I feel. I need more time. I can do that. I can give you more time. Okay. Uh, chat with her. What's on your What's mind? What's on your mind? I can hack terminals when we need it. 
I'm not very good at it. Never had to be. But I'll learn. Plus, if it's easy enough, I never fail. Okay. Yeah, her affinity points have to be through the moon. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Hey. I just restocked if you need some tea. Uh, da, 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 da. Can we chat? Sure. Your thoughts? Your thoughts? For target practice, my mom would take me out hunting bloat flies and rad roaches. Whatever I killed, she'd take home and we'd have for dinner. Yummy. For the longest time, she thought I would never learn to shoot straight. I just hate the taste of bugs. <laughs> Your thoughts? Georgie and I were on the road by Covenant one day, down by the water, you know, when I was ambushed by a bug. Damn thing knocked the pistol right out of my hand. I was sure that was the end. I was going to die, right there, by the side of the road. If it hadn't been for Georgie, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. She came rushing over, knocked it off, and pounded it to mush with that bat she always carried. I started working on a bug repellent the next day. Uh, I'm going to hit chat with Heather. What's on her mind just to see what's, what's there? What's on your mind? Not much. How you doing? Feeling okay? Oh. Uh, I hope I made the right decision. All in the day's work for the hero of the Commonwealth. No, I'm not. I'm good for now. Thanks. I'm good for now. Thanks. Me too. It's a good day, isn't it? Uh, okay, now <laughs> now it's highlighted. I'm What's confused. on your mind? Noodles. <laughs> noodles. I mean, I feel you. Sometimes I'm thinking about noodles too. All right, so let's go to Hub City Auto Wreckers. And yes, I had to get the map because I can't remember where, <laughs> where anything is. It looks like... It looks like it's... Jesus. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh. By Dunwich? Oh, no, it's by Saugus. I said that I knew that there was one by Saugus. I just I just said that. All right. Um, Saugus is cleared. So let's go there. Every issue of Taboo Tattoos collects a new unique facial tattoo. That's something I've never talked about. When I was a young man, I, uh... I wanted two things. <laughs> this is like 18-year-old me. Keep this in mind. Uh, I wanted to get vampire teeth permanently bonded to my teeth. Uh, I wasn't even that goth. I was only like mildly goth. Oh my god! <laughs> what the? What the hell? <laughs> it was said it was cleared. And then we come here and immediately uh, Heather gets hit in the face with a Molotov. Ow! Your head's getting popped for that. You too, because you're getting close to me. Oh! I got brain matter all over me. Could you please stop setting my girlfriend on fire? Seriously. Take his head. Alright, that's not what I wanted, but... Could you land one? Thank you. Okay. Heather. Where? Oh, she's just standing over there. Yeah, that... Sorry about that. It, uh, I said it was cleared. I wasn't expecting... Oh my god. Jesus. Alright. Can I get back to business now? Please? Thank you. Alright, so from where we are, it looks like... It's like right here. So southeast. Yeah, it's like right over there. That's it's up on the bridge. Well, I mean part of it's up on the bridge. 
I don't think I can jetpack my way up there directly, but can I, uh, can I make this happen? Alright, so we're going to try to see if there's, can I jetpack? There's nothing. A gunner wants more than a good over -rest. What? Alright, that did not <laughs> really work the way that I planned. Now, we don't have to clear it out. Apparently, all we had to do was come here. Please die. Nope. But what's what's the fun of coming here and not killing everybody? I can't believe someone pays you to fight. He ran away. What a goof. I don't know how she feels about the gunners. She being Heather. Now the Enclave might actually like the gunners, but they're but they're mutated. So wait, what? What? Excuse me. Let's go in for the assaultron. There you are. Yeah, like Enclave uses assaultrons, the gunners use assaultrons. Yeah, I don't want to say the Enclave is cooler, but the Enclave is a way better bad guy, in my opinion, than the Gunners. The Gunners always felt like, I don't know, felt like Fallout 4, like, <laughs> with like a, like a bootleg Fallout. <laughs> it was Bethesda's version of, it, it was based on Fallout. That's not what I wanted. I wanted head and I'm shooting the ground anyway. Oh, wait, what? What? Missile launcher, man. I always talk about, like, the Star Trek movies. The, the, like, the Chris Pine ones. Like, seriously, where is Rocket Launcher Man? Oh, no. I didn't make it again. Damn it. That's disappointing. Looks fun. We should go up. The view will be worth it. I'm, I'm trying. Alright, I guess I gotta put the bridge down. I was gonna try to just jetpack my way up there. Yeah, the Star Trek, like the Chris Pine, Zachary Quinto. Please stop. Please stop trying to missile launch me. Uh. Lower. Alright, can you let me out now, please? Thank you. Right? Lower. Yeah. Oh my god. I need to kill Missile Launcher Man, wherever he is. Is that you? If only... If only we could aim. What? What? <laughs> god damn it. He's right there. Still took two shots. Where's the missile launcher man though? We gotta deal with him. He's a problem. Yeah, like those movies are not bad. But right in the beginning they're like based on Star Trek and I'm Just like that. Die! I feel like that's a very accurate Wait, where's Missile Launcher Man? Did he fall? Are they on the ground? Where the heck are they? You're nothing. Nothing. I'm confused. Like it says he's like... Alright, it's forged. Somehow, I'm still picking up the forge all the way over here. Too bad I can't chuck grenades that far. We 
wait, wait, wait. <laughs> or maybe my aim's just off. I was like, he can chuck grenades that far, but I can't. I don't appreciate that. All right, he's dead anyway. All right, there's still one more somebody. I thought it was Missile Launcher Man I was looking for, but it's just a random forge who kind of appears to be <laughs> stuck down there. <laughs> Who's that? All right. So, hey, we made it to Hub City Auto Wreckers. How do you, how do you feel? Hey. Mm-hmm. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. Can we chat? I'd like that. What's on your mind? Alien-human hybrids. They have to exist, right? I mean, probably. We'll bang pretty much anything. So if there was aliens and it has a hole, we... We'd probably figure out how to do it. All right. So that was Hub City. Now the other one is Scrap Palaces, South West. I don't know that we've been. I've totally been to Scrap Palace. That's weird. When have I not been with Heather? That I've that I've. I'm confused. Seriously, we've been really like, we I there was only I think a very brief period of time where I did not have her as a companion during this entire playthrough, and that just happens to be the time where I went to Scrap Palace. That's super weird. Someone there. Alright, I would like to shoot him in his boom boom arm, but doesn't really want to let me oh percentage is going down how about just a manual shot we played we won uh 43 45 hut hut oh a master what's up son all right quiet just die Seriously? <laughs> I wish you could vats in the air. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Like I could just kind of go like this, and then look down and boom, hit vats, and take them out as I'm as I'm landing. All right, which vertebrate are you now? All right, be careful the. With the grenades. All right, I gotta get inside here because apparently they're all hiding. Oh, right in the beans. No, I want your junk. I want your junk. All your junk is mine now. Yeah, spin a rooney. Check that out. Bethesda physics are the best. Yeah, so the Star Trek That's movies. That's weird. What, that the head was spinning around like that? <laughs> and I feel, sometimes I feel like Fallout 4. <laughs> this probably make people angry. Oh, uh, hot take. Fallout 4 is based on Fallout. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. You have to remember, I was such a such a big fan of Fall Four that I Not never really what you call a palace. But man, there's so much variety in the junk they've got laying around. Looks like they didn't care what they started with, as long as they could get scrap off of it. Pretty smart. I should do more of that. All right. So we have taken her to all of the scrappy yappies. Uh, what's left? All aboard! Super Duper Mart. Now I don't, I don't know how I've not done that. 
Super Duper Mart would be a... I'm using the interactive map and oh my god. It's it's like too interactive. It's like airplane wreck brown, so like store? Store an option? Nope. Supermarket? Supermarket an option? Nope. <laughs> uh what what would they what would they categorize it as then? Jesus Lord. I swear to God. Airplane wreck, no. Brown, so no. Bunker, camper, car, cave, church, city, custom house, diamond city, drive-in, elevated highway, encampment, factory. That hall that I'm never not sure how to say. Faneuil Hall, farm, filling station, forest, good neighbor, graveyard, high-rise, hospital, institute, junkyard, low-rise. Metro, military base, miscellaneous, monorail, Natural Landmarks, Office Pier, Point of Interest, Police Station, Pond Slash Lake, Pridwin, Quarry, Radio Tower, Radioactive Air, Railroad, Ruins, Satellite Tower, School, Settlement, Soar, Shipwreck, Submarine, Swan Pond, <laughs> Castle, and Vault. Uh, seriously. The store does not... I guess I'm just gonna legit have to just look up Super Duper Mark. Sorry, I don't remember where it is. Absolutely ridiculous. Interactive map. I could probably search it on the map now that I'm thinking about it. Super Duper Mark. All right, first first hit. Where the heck is it? I can't remember. All right, that's the outside. I, I need to know where it is on the map. Here's the map. Can we please open the map? Can we, can we please open the map, please? How many times do I have to click on it? Mystic Pines, Corvega, Covenant. Okay. We've been to Covenant, haven't we? I always forget where Covenant is, too. Uh, Jesus Lord. The Institute. We're, that's an easy symbol to find. Alright, so there's the Institute. And then... It's legit, like, in a whole area I haven't been to. That's the problem. So, over from the Institute is this. So, honestly, if I go here, and then I go slightly northwest. So, it's, like, in this whole area over here where there's I've, I've detected nothing. That's the problem. Alright, so we don't we could go back to College Square. And then just basically just head north. Which is what we'll do. Now, Nuka World. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, uh, I we'll go do the Enclave stuff. We'll detect Super Duper Mark, uh, and then we'll go bring the Brolium Agitator to uh, Chief Myers, and we'll see where the Enclave story is going, and then we'll make a decision from there if the Enclave is going to uh, send us on a envoy mission to uh, eradicate the Nuka World. Alright, of course there's ghouls. Immediately. Right in the butt. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't want to... Blow that up. This... Particular place... 
I feel like gives you the the best like sort of like zombie ish vibe out of any place in Fallout 4. Not that that's necessarily a good thing, but it is definitely a thing. All right, why? Are you, where, where are the rest of you? Like, come on, I'll have all year. There you are. I noticed more. Seriously. I'll just I'll just chuck grenades indiscriminately and somehow still kill somebody. Cause that's how many ghouls there are here. Alright, we're not headed that way anyway. We're going north. We're going like northwest. I just don't want to get these knuckleheads running up from behind. Alright. We good? Nope, still a red blip. Yeah, it went away. Fine. Alright, so... As we head northwest... There should be... It's hilarious, because the icons I'm seeing are not... <laughs> Where did I go? I went to College Square. Yes. Like, the mass gravel place is, like, right here. But somehow that's not showing up. I don't know. I don't understand. We're just going to go north. There it is. There it is. Now it's showing up. Alright, might as well go detect it. Not that far away. Get some more locations on. So, just a reminder, I, I've, I've reminded this like a million times now. I apologize. I know it's not fun to hear me repeat the same things, but just in case somebody doesn't know or doesn't understand, uh, Isabella was created for Whispering Hills. Whispering Hills is a mod that takes you outside of the Fallout 4 map. And we did all of that and then returned, but never... Alright, so there we go. But never, uh... Did anything vanilla with her at all. So, we had, like, in starting this playthrough, it is literally like a fresh playthrough with a character that's already experienced. Which I know is weird. Alright, so... I see Corvega. We're gonna head right straight for Corvega. Sorry, Heather. I, I would give Heather power armor, but I don't think you can give companions power armor, can you? If you can, I don't know how. There we go, Lexington. All right, let's um. I mean, I, I made this as, as good as I can make it. Let's let's switch it up, though. Let's do something a little different for a little bit. A little run and gun. Well, we know there's more up here. Speed things up. All right. Got some good cover there. But I'll <laughs> get you eventually. <laughs> Should I? Should I have just run? Where are you? Really? You're gonna hide up there? Did you see that one coming from behind me? Coming at me from behind with an axe. I'm coming for you. I, 
I've already brought it. Seriously, where's this other one? It's like vaguely in this direction. Where? I'm already almost to the top. Is that all you got? Do I? I'm pretty sure I don't. Yes, yeah, I, I don't know where the other one is. And, and, and I feel like they're shooting me. And I don't understand how that's possible. It says they're like vaguely in this direction and... Where? Hi! 33%? I'm not gonna make those shots. I missed every single one of those shots. Uh, both the bat shots and the uh, the aimed shots. I really need to put a better scope on this. That's that's part of the problem. Bring it. Play with us and die. Yep, I'm coming. Oop, I almost fell. Killed all those poor raiders. I know we murdered them to death. I'm so confused about that blip that was showing up over here. Like where is he in the is he in the truck? Or was he in the truck? Is that what the problem was? Like seriously. Alright, anyway, we're getting distracted. This isn't even what we're supposed to be doing. I thought there you are, you little bitch. Oh, okay. Oh, and I fell. You know, call me names. And then not even see me coming. Here we go again. Who's over here? Good fucking riddance. Alright, finally done. Take a quick peek at the map. So we... Oh my god. An ad must opened up on my tablet and completely moved everything. Alright, so... Like, Super Duper Mark is, like, right here. <laughs> it's, like, right... It's, like, right there. There's... Who... Who is... Sh who is even shooting at me? Now, is it silly that I don't remember where Super Duper Mart is? Because I feel like we don't really do much of anything with with Super Duper Mart in the base game. I mean, it's right there. Cool, so just they don't know what to do. <laughs> just standing there like, uh, he's up there. Pathing. My pathing is broken. There's no way for us to get up there. Phew. How do we murder him? Holy shit! Wait, what? Help! Wait, what's happening? Was that the behemoth? Where is he? Where? where? Where is the behemoth? I don't know where the behemoth is. Trying to get his attention. Alright, is that him? Yeah. What's up, big boy? Throwing poop at me. Yeah, yeah. All right, 
he had a mop. That's great. All right, we got somebody else's attention. Do I care? I mean, seriously. Fight, 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 fight. I swear that's what I said the ghoul was. Do we need to go in? I guess so. Yeah, so we'll do this, then we'll go, we'll return the uh, agitator, like I said, and then figure out what else we're going to do from there, based on... I cannot wait to see what's in here. Here's hoping for donuts. It's ghoul. There's going to be just a lot of ghouls, Heather. Just a lot of ghouls. Very confused ghouls. I don't know where to go. And that, my friends, is how it's done. Life must have been so easy before the war. And you could come to a store like this and buy anything you wanted. Pretty much. Pretty much. And more. I know there's more ghouls. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Hands off, snakey. Let's go. That's it. Watermelons. What? Seriously, where did you even come from? I'm throwing grenades everywhere and then one just runs up and smacks me. Like I'm not throwing grenades everywhere. Sweet. That said I completed tour of the Commonwealth. Hold on. Because no, I didn't. What is it talking about? How am I missing? Weird. We gotta take a look and try to figure out what. Oh, excuse me. Hi, you're legendary. Really? <sighs> like, what do you like? Who you gotta bang to get a <laughs> to get a good legendary weapon around here? It ain't Heather. Because I'm banging her and I'm not getting any legendary uh, <laughs> weapons. Alright, did everybody wake up from in here? Anybody want some watermelons? You sure you don't want some watermelons, Heather? What are you doing? Excuse me. Aim for you all right? I think it might have blown you up on my grenade. No, no, don't despawn. Oh my god. Watch yourself. If they catch you, they'll eat you. Okay. Um. Somehow he missed hitting me at point blank range. I don't know how. Yeah, I mean, 
there's 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 a whole thing like called like legendary farming and I know this is a place to come to to do legendary farming but you see what I'm getting <coughs> just hot trash Things I'll never use in a million years. Oops. I'll take the fusion core for my power armor, thank you. Is this outside? Yeah, I thought that was. All right, let's try to figure out why I said I completed tour of the Commonwealth because I'm a little confused about that. Where is it? It said I completed it. Am I am I crazy? I did not. I d <laughs> uh. Okay. I did not take her to Nuka World, but that that um. That got that gets rid of that problem. So I still I still want to give her the mutated fern flowers. I I, I don't even know. If there's a good place to grab those bad boys. Anything else here? Use a manufacturing terminal to, or to produce. I have not done that either. Check the detective cases. Huh? What detective cases? What does that mean? Visit Austin in the clinic. No. 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 She's with me. No. What is what does it mean detective files? I don't know what that means. Let's just go out here. I know it's what not what I said we we're going to do, and we will do what I said we were going to do, but I'm just perplexed by what, what that is. Exactly. This episode is not sponsored by Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Zero. Used to be called Pepsi Max. Had 69, which they had to do on purpose. 69 milligrams of... I can't believe I'm standing down here in the middle of Lexington. I've never met anyone that's made it down here. The Raiders and Ferals keep everyone out. Stay back. Keep your distance. Sorry, I killed everybody. They're dead. Sixty-nine milligrams of amazingly important caffeine. I wouldn't say I'm addicted to much, but def definitely then not proud of it. It is what it is, but definitely addicted to caffeine. I'm also addicted to the ladies. <laughs> All right, what, what, what? I don't, I don't know what this is referring to. I mean, obviously detective, so it has something to do with, okay, I just wanted to see where that wanted me to go. I'm going to turn that back off. I, I don't know what that is. Alright. So what are we going to do? How are we doing this? Still Ferals are smarter than you'd think. Folks say their brains are rotted away. But I've seen them set up ambushes around dead bodies. Well, that's disturbing. Let's detect a couple places real quick. We're right, essentially, on top of this. So it might as well. Is this Jamaica Plains? What is this? 
Nah, this is, we're not right, right spot to be Jamaica Plains. What is this? Oh, it's Mystic Pines. All right, somebody's shooting. So, what? Heather, where? What are you getting involved in, Heather? Heather? Why are you running around like a crazy person? I'm not vatsing anything. And then there's something else. We'll snag this and then we'll go. We'll go. I promise. I feel like I'm beating around the bush. That's another one. Beating around the bush. So, I, like, what, is that like a hunting thing? Like, because you're beating around the... Oh, this is interesting. I want all the XP. No XP for any of you. Why does it look like I'm just using a laser rifle? Yeah, what? What? That's not my... That's... What? <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? It was going back and forth between the gun I'm actually using and just like a regular... What? I swear... I'm confused. Why does it, to me, look different? I guess it's just a op never mind, just an optical illusion. For some reason, it, it looks different to me, but it's 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 not. It's just me. I don't know what I'm talking about as usual. All right, what do we? What is this? Can, can we detect it? I'm, I'm practically inside of it, and we're still not detecting it. Yeah, I know I picked up a new level. Can we just detect this building, please? How much more inside of this building? There we go. Thank you. Okay, so where... Let me guess. It wants me to go to the one place, to go to the other place. No. Okay. I actually could have walked there. I was so close. You know what I should get back into doing? I even bought some. I bought some some white tea. Green tea is my favorite tea. And then just regular old black tea after that. But I was a little confused when I saw white tea. So I really enjoy tea. It's just... I'm just lazy. <laughs> it's just lazy. I know. How lazy do you have to be not to make tea? That that's how that gives you a gauge on how lazy I am. So it's like open up a can of soda or make a make a glass of tea. Cause I don't ever drink cups cups of tea. I always drink glasses of tea. Or where where am I going though? Oh, to the vertebrate up there. We've been getting a number of enclave remnants coming here to rejoin. Awesome, I guess. Full force has been deployed here. Let's make it count. You know, I, I had to like play hip hop. Scotch to get up here to the freaking vertebrate, though. Oh, God, where am I going? Where am I going? Where is he? Oh, I think he's here. I hope. He said, fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm just curious what, like... Because black tea and green tea taste dramatically different, in my opinion. Uh, I drink tea very, very wrong. For anybody who is a tea connoisseur. Like... You know, if you steep it too long, it gets bitter and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I like it. I like, I, I don't like coffee bitter. Is that not correct? That was, Chief Myers is not here. <laughs> oh, damn it. Nope. Okay. All right. So then the oil rig, I guess. 
If he's at the Vertebird refueling place, I'm going to be super annoyed because that's not a normal place for him to be. Yeah, I like to steep the bejesus out of it. Get all I sque and they're like never squeeze the bag because you're going to get that really bitter uh, flavor. And I was like, hey, you know what I put in my tea to counteract the bitter flavor? Sugar. <laughs> And not a lot of sugar. I'm talking about like one spoonful of sugar. I swear to God. Oh, I thought it was telling me to go back to the vertebrate again. Yeah, it's like one, not tablespoon. That's that's a lot. It's like one, I'll say I'll say a teaspoon. Like one teaspoon. I thought there was a, a lady laying underneath. Oh my God. That Wait, I have to go down there to get a better look at that art. That art is hilarious. Oh no, art, right, light off. Oh, well that's... That's unfortunate. America's Guardian. Um, is there any way? Can I tie it? Yeah, can I kind of turn to the side so we can see it? What is what's happening to that lady's face? She's like, oh, help me. <laughs> looks like she doesn't have a nose. She kind of looks like a ghoul. <laughs> uh, God, and then I fell. Rock them, roll them all night long. 60 minutes. Yeah, I had 60 minute, man. Daniel was teasing me. It was that awkward story that I told about Executing me. Executing the crew of the Harper was the right okay. thing to do. Me and a lady uh, girlfriend all the way back in high school. And I was like, yeah, dude, that was like, it was like 30 years ago. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's summertime. My house is very well air conditioned, but uh, it wants me to go through there to Head go. Head to the training area if you're looking for some target practice. I'm look. I'm good. I don't need any target practice. Actually, I, I do. If that would if that would be awesome. That would be a role playing game thing. If I could do target practice, and then I would get better at aiming. But again, this isn't a role playing game. <laughs> I know. There's a real buzz around here these days. I'm taking all kinds of shots. Shots, 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 shots. Everybody at uh, Fallout 4. I do I do like Fallout 4. I wouldn't be playing it. But I also consider playing mods not really playing Fallout 4. Whatever the Institute is planning with their synths, it can't be good. That's why I always say, like, New Vegas is my favorite game because I love the base game. I've played through the New Vegas Vase game multiple times in the past. I've done several different types of playthroughs. Whereas Fallout 4, I couldn't, I, I couldn't even finish it. I completely lost interest. I swear I've already cleaned this entire place out of junk. I mean, I don't need to, but it wants me to make something, which I guess since we're here, I wasn't planning on coming here. I guess we could see about making something. I don't know what it wants me to manufacture. So let's switch to that real quick. Real quick. We'll turn this off. We'll go back down to miscellaneous. It's like make something. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, because I believe that the terminal's like right... Like on the other side of this wall, if I remember correctly. I'm sure I have tons of junk. So, shouldn't be a problem. But just in case, that's why I'm grabbing extra junk. If I need... I don't even know if I need junk. I don't know what I need to make something. So, let's find out. And if I need more crap, I'll run around and grab more crap. Alright. Excuse me, sir. Alright, sitting down when there's no chair. Special orders. Weapons, armor, clothing, ammo, weapons. Um, oh yeah, this is the thing where, like, it gave me, like, I don't know what to make. Desert, forest, snow. Oh, okay, I'm kind of curious what some of these look like. Can I see a desert enclave uniform? 
Confirm reproduction of unclean for desert for two requisitions. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Where, where do I get that from? Where does that... Where does that come out? Do I... Do I... Is it just in my inventory now? Check your items from the... Oh, collect your items. Okay. Uh... All right, let's see what that looks like. Because I have no idea. As you see, I have not cleaned out my inventory in many, many moons. Oh my god. Okay. Hit all the wrong buttons. I can't X my armor here. Why the hell not? I felt like that was pretty open space. We're playing dress up. Oh, we can actually see uh, Isabella pretty well for once. I got started from behind, so we can see her tail. That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. All right, I'll have to remember to make the other ones. Wait, did it change my power armor? Why does my power armor look weird now, too? Or is that how my power armor looked? I'm confused. Let's put a... Uh... Should I put the... Should I put the colonel's uniform on? <laughs> to mock that I killed her? Or continue to wear the general's outfit because I find it amusing. But where is... Where is it? General Winter's uniform. I don't know who General Winter is. Alright. For some reason, I thought the power armor was, like, all black. Including the jetpack. But apparently that's not the case. Anyway, completed that. Wow, that was exciting. Um, let's bring Chief Myers the agitator. Alright, so I didn't need I didn't need any <laughs> I didn't need any junk to make that at all. I just needed requisitions. Alright, yeah, he's normally like up, up over here. When he's here. He was here last time, now that I think about it. You got me. He was here last... You're not him. Wait, where is he? Alright, I can't fly over that for some reason. Where the freak... Dude, where are you? My man! Where is he? I feel like the quest marker is broken. Uh, okay. No, don't do that. That was the run button for Skyrim I just hit, which is fat. <laughs> okay. So I wasn't supposed to come all the way down here, apparently. He's over here somewhere. Good work. Getting the Harper back. It's full of supplies. All systems are within normal operating parameters. Reactor 2 is operating at a 95% oh, efficiency. Oh, uh, hello. Have you got that beryllium agitator? 
Yeah, he does not sound happy. Are you okay? Sorry, Major. It's, it's just this whole business with Morgan. Uh, uh, White Hill. I can't believe... It's just that... She was good people, and... Ah, uh, let's, let's just get back to this reactor business. Give the agitator. Yep, got it right here. I'll get the agitator installed now. Reactor one's already powered down. Spiking in sector seven. This to work, Myers. Adjusting. Reactor temperature is at a steady 995 degrees. Got to keep an eye on those transient loads. I love watching. Monitors reporting green across the board. Transient loads. Core pressure holding at 740 psi. Increased load from the labs. Compensating. Radiation levels are within the correct operating envelope. Won't take long. This is pretty straightforward. Gotta keep an eye on those transient loads. Watch them transient loads. All systems are within normal operating parameters. Wrenches. Core do pressure everything. holding at 740 psi. Is that it? We done? Increase load from the labs. Compensating. Okay. Fire her up, Sam. Now you got it. Coolant coils looking good. Opening valves. Flow is good. Pressure buildup is. Monitors reporting no. green across the board. Sending ignition command and... Radiation levels are within the correct yeah! operating envelope. Woohoo! Reactor online. Status is green across the board. One step closer. You alright, man? Reactor 1 hey. is operating at a I can't believe Morgan's gone. Yeah, I, I murdered her to death. How are things going? If I'm honest with you, losing Morgan's been rough. We've been through a lot together. She was like... Ah, uh, never mind. She was like a daughter. Yeah, you know where to find me. Alright. Reactor 2 is operating at a 95% efficiency. General Ward. Reactor temperature is at a steady 995 right, please stop degrees. Giving us updates, I don't care. Spiking Fine work, seven. Major. Fine work. Adjusting. Not having to ration out power anymore will be a relief to all of us. Why do we need more power? What's next? Made a lot of enemies helpful. Uh, why do we need more power? Why is that so important? Because we simply didn't have enough power to keep both the factory and the labs adequately supplied. And we need to ensure everything runs at peak efficiency. Bottlenecks are not acceptable. <sighs> Made a lot of enemies. Was all of that worth it? There is something that I must make clear to you, Major, in case you are not already aware. Yes. We have made enemies, and we will continue to make more. Quite simply, you're either with us or you're against us. Many will stand in our way, and they will all fall. Dr. Kane told me she had a demonstration prepared for me. Why don't you come along? Meet me in the labs. I wasn't... I wasn't done talking to you. Sir. Let's go see what Dr. Kane has in store for us. Okay. That... I've, I've mentioned this before. Uh, really enjoying this mod. But, 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 if I had to be nitpicky, the, um, the fact that, like, once you, it's realistic, for sure. Like, once you choose a dialogue, you know, tree dialogue option to go down, that it, it, it doesn't give you the option to check the other ones. Realistic, sure, but also kind of annoying at the same time because I like to get as much dialogue out of characters as much as possible. And it good work recovering all those materials for Doctor Kane. Okay, can we heard please? the facility was crawling with locals and mutants. Yeah, it effectively makes it so that way I I I can't I can't do that. It's not saying to go up. Where is the door you want me to go through? It, it has to be up. Probably just be following Myers. 
Where, where? Master Baron's got the best gear in the Commonwealth. Okay, where are we going? Brotherhood of Steel's in the region. This time, we'll be ready. I've been murdering them for pretty much as soon as they got here. Yeah, there was other things to talk to him about, and then it's just like, nope, you chose that option. That's it. That's all you get. You don't get to hear any of his other dialogue. Alright, I need to get down. With the oil rigs factory running again, we'll have the best gear in the Commonwealth. The year, best gear, gear of the year. Fear the gear. Load in, load in, load in, raw hide. What are you doing over there, girl? I see you shaking that up. What's up, sweetie? How you doing? Good day. Can you look at me? I like your hair, it's red. I'm trying to. Hey, how you doing? You're cute. Okay. Sorry, getting distracted. All right, General. General Ward, I'm wearing General Winter's uh, outfit. Your General Ward, who's General Winter? Did they change your name at some point in time? Forget to change the name of your outfit. That would be my guess. Where are we headed, sir? I see some bugs in there. Can I let the bug out? No, that'd be funny. Right, where are we going? Are we going down? What do you got? You got a super mute. Right, where's 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 Dr. Kane? We're going around in circles? Alright, there she is. What's up, Dr. Kane? What are we looking Hello, at? Major, I take it you're here for the demonstration? You got a bunch of dead. Uh, life's work demonstration, yes! That's right. I'll get started as soon as General Ward gets here. Now, uh, you want chit chat? Doctor? Please be patient. I'd like to wait for General Ward. Alright, I just want to chit chat. What are you doing? Alright, it's a bunch of dead things in that one and nobody in this one. All right, what are we doing? We're looking at the dead things? Why are we looking at the dead things? I already, God damn it! I already talked to her. Are you ready for the demonstration? I said, uh, life's, life's work? So, is this your life's work? In a sense, it's actually the opposite. The FEV has seen many names and purposes over the years and has been worked on by many different people. My colleagues and I were originally part of the team developing FEV-2, a strain that would have turned our soldiers, well, into super soldiers. Super the strain retard. I developed is very loosely based on that retrovirus. Rather than reverse the effects of FEV-2, it is lethal to the damaged DNA. A valuable tool for cleansing this world of threats, I'm sure you'd agree. Demonstration. What's going on? It may have taken What's countless sleepless on? nights, but the FEV is finally ready to be shown in action, and I've prepared a little demonstration. Yes. That's right. Very well. Let us begin. I've been looking forward to this. I thought it'd be prudent to show you how we got where we are. If you look down into the test chamber, you'll see the results of what I'm designating FEV Kane 1. This strain of the FEV is not dissimilar to the one we recovered, simply stabilized to the best of my abilities. I see nothing but dead mutants. Did we get lucky with this strain? Unfortunately, it wasn't that straightforward, no. Of the four subjects in that test chamber, two were relatively healthy wastelanders, one was a ghoul, and one was a vault dweller from Vault 81. The Vault Dweller exhibited extreme cell growth within 15 minutes of exposure. Strength and aggression increased dramatically. We had to terminate them. The Wastelanders did not, at first, exhibit any reactions until they lost consciousness after half an hour. Within an hour, they appeared to begin uh, ghoulifying. 
While the ghoul, uh, the ghoul experienced near instant death due to lung damage, uh, one positive result at least. Ah, the Super Soldier Project. It must not have been easy stabilizing that initial FEV sample. Impressive, Doctor. Yes, this original strain was created with the Super Soldier plan in mind. Now we just got weird skeletons. In here, you can see the results of FEV Kane 6. You've certainly been cleaning house, Doctor. Uh, quite. With this strain, we wanted to increase the potency of the virus to reduce the time needed to reach maximum effect. Unfortunately, it appears we made FEV Kane 6 far too aggressive. It provokes an intense immunoresponse response in patients, leading to immediate and indiscriminate death and uh, liquefaction. Regardless <laughs> of mutation? Not exactly what we're looking for, but a potent biological weapon regardless. Perhaps, but if it's purely chemical warfare you're interested in, there are far simpler compounds that can be used. This way, please. Yes, I know I leveled up. We'll deal with that at the end of the episode. In here, we have the results of FEV Kane 9. I was close with this strain, very close. Like in the first example, the subjects consisted of one vault dweller, two common wastelanders, and a ghoul. Within five minutes of exposure to the FEV agent, all subjects, minus the vault dweller, perished from asphyxiation as their lung cells were destroyed. The vault dweller exhibited no abnormal symptoms aside from, well, mental trouble, as is to be expected. Singling out creatures' lungs. Smart. Yes, the base agent was already affecting the subject's lungs, so we opted to build on that. The results were very promising. It is most potent against land-based mammals, although it does seem to retain some effectiveness against non-mammals, aggressively attacking their organs. Unfortunately, healthy humans are not fully immune to the effects of FEV K9. Approximately two hours after exposure, an aggressive cancer begins to propagate through the patient's body. This one doesn't have long left to live. It must have been frustrating being that close. Yes, we were so close. We were, however, able to identify what leads to the cancer in pure patients after sufficient testing. Come with me to the upper test chamber. This is pretty messed up. But it is the Enclave. Can I just... Speed this process up by jetpacking. You just teleported it in. Hey, wait, speed this up. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> What's up? I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> Every episode, I swear. All right, are we looking at this over here now? Oh, yep the the uh, center is over here. So we got a. Uh... Oh, we're experimenting on our own people now. Well, that's something. Uh, use this computer. Load sample, unload sample, dispense. Sorry, I'm not doing, not doing any of that because I don't know what that means. General, what are you doing, man? Oh my God, this pathing is messed up. Please. Okay, maybe just talk to her. Oh my God, General, please. General, please. General. Please. 
Gen General, please. Oh my god. I didn't do anything to mess him up, so why? Wish a buckethead would show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. Um. What if I wait? To replace this. I forgot I can't just wait. Oh my god, stop our turbines always breaking pathing. Um. Can I sit in that chair? Yes. Okay, hold on. Can I drop off my power armor here? Ah. Uh. I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's try. Is he fixed himself? No. Let's try waiting an hour and see if somehow that fixes the problem. My apologies for being late, but I didn't want to miss this. Welcome, sir. What have you got here, Doctor? Let's call it a live fire exercise. Please, please, you don't have to do this. <laughs> you're that traitor that we caught leaking information. You should be thankful you're avoiding execution. But now... A traitor with minimal radiation exposure makes for a fine control sample. I'm sure you'd agree. You've got this all wrong. I didn't do anything. Please settle down. Now, on the left of the chamber, we have sedated wasteland abominations. I had hoped to include a non-feral ghoul in this demonstration, but no unfortunately I have already depleted our reserves of them. I think it's time you see FEV Kane 9B in action. You can dispense it from that terminal over there. Why don't you do the honors, Major? You were instrumental in getting this far. Uncomfortable, yes sir, not sure. My pleasure! It'll be my pleasure. Start the demonstration. So what am I doing? I'm dispensing? Load sample on dispense. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Please stop. The FEV has been dispensed. I don't want to die. Stop Get whining. Fortunately for you, your radiation levels are too minute for FEV K9B to react. This is it. The ultimate weapon against the wasteland. No need to inoculate and no cure for those vulnerable to it. You've done it, Doctor. This is just what we've been waiting for. Simply incredible, don't you think? Next move, good start. Horrible idea, I don't know. Uh, next move. What's our next move? We follow through with the Enclave's master plan. And this time, there's nothing to stand in our way. We release the FEV into the jet stream. And we watch as the world's horrors are eradicated. And we begin a new era with the Enclave at the helm. A good start. This is a good start. It is. It won't be long before we can deploy the FEV at scale. General, with your permission, I can get Chief Engineer Myers and his men to start work on the FEV release system. Of course, Dr. Kane. Permission is hereby granted. Do whatever you need to to get the system operational. Thank you, General. What the? The depot is under attack! Who's behind the attack? So boring. Are you broken again, General? Alright, well, while you're broken, I'm gonna go grab my power armor. Which is doing a great job of blocking everybody here. <laughs> Are you working now? We're we waiting for this guy to Brotherhood come over. Brotherhood air assault. Our troops are outnumbered. Damn it! 
those meddling swine. Prepare the bird of birds and muster the troops. We need to hold the army depot at all costs. Major, I want you to join the troops. Fend off the Brotherhood, that's an order. Crush them, Major. Let's go, people. Follow me, Major. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that the, the, the detainee crying? Who's crying? Where am I going? You're not gonna make me do another vertebrate fight. Is that is that what you're we'll making me do? Destroy the Brotherhood. You can count on that. Where are we going? Why are we waiting online? What are we doing? We going to here? I am a wanderer. Bro, where are we going? This is a very convoluted way to get from point A to point B. Institute's known for replacing people with their sins. Hope that doesn't happen to me. If you're wounded, go see Doctor. What if Senator Matthews is a uh, sin? How would we know? All right, where are we going, man? General Ward knows what we've lost firsthand. He's our best chance at victory. All right, am I still supposed to be following this dude? Because the... Looks like I have a quest marker that's not following Brotherhood him. Brotherhood took Washington Excuse from me, us. Officer. We'll I'll take their elder the from them. All right. I'm so confused. This pathing is bizarre. Where are we going? Over here? No, still not there yet. You're making me do a vertebrate thing again, aren't you? There's that crazy vertebrate. I lost him. Hold on. This is not my vertebrate. We're the only ones that can save our country. All right, I'm gonna save it because if it's a vertebrate thing, there's a good chance I'm gonna screw it up. All right, uh, what's up? Excuse me, officer. Ready to go to the army depot, ma'am? Uh, it's a situation. So, what's our situation? Army Depot troops are under heavy fire from the Brotherhood. They're outnumbered and outgunned. We need to reinforce them before it's too late. Okay, let's do this, not yet move out. Let's do this! Let's do this. Alright, we're just gonna teleport me there? That, that works for me. Pew, 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 pew! Uh... Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Oh, okay. Alright, Major. We're approaching the AO. We're leading the charge. More reinforcements are inbound. Our troops should be holding out of the HQ. Okay. Can we just land? I'm seeing heavy gunfire ahead. Get ready on that minigun. Okay. Get him out before you jump. Where, where, where are we going? I just want to jump. Who am I shooting?
drop zone now. Yeah, please just drop me. Cause this is not going well. I suck with the minigun. Can I jump out now, please? Time to jump, ma'am. Jump. Go. Yeah. Alright. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, back to the ghost rifle, I guess, because I'm tickling them with this. Grenades. Ooh, but what if I accidentally... Uh, yeah, the problem with that is I missed half the time. Alright, so we're gonna have to do bats. Is this guy to the left of me not Brotherhood? Because if so, why is it why is Vats ignoring him? Yeah, like, bro, he's right there. What what is happening? Shot him right in the butthole. Taking damage. Taking. This is fun. Not gonna lie, this would be probably a pain in the butt. Normally. Oh wait, you're. I didn't realize the vertebrate was Brotherhood skill also. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, how many shots am I gonna miss? Spin a Rooney. You hurry up and reload. 10%, damn. Okay, where? Where? Going weapons hot. What, where, where? Is that, where'd the vertebrae go? Where's everybody? Seriously, for one of these vertebrates, the enemy ver. Where is everybody? Anybody? I'm just running around like an idiot. Back over here? I wonder if you could fail this. About to open. Seriously, where did the, where did that vertebrae go? So are we just supposed to, is it waves? Is that what's happening? Again, are you... It's not letting me vat, so are you enemy or not enemy? 
I really want to take down one of the vertebrates, please. Come on. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> I'm just missing. Somehow, repeatedly. Wait, this vertebrate's gotta be done, right? Are you serious? They're gonna let them get away. How did anybody get down to even be shooting me? No mercy. Bro, where did you come from? There's a 33 and a third percent chance I just kicked your butt. Go back Could, Oh my god. Could you please? Thank you. Didn't want to go back to him for some reason. Alright, so here we go. So again, it's going to be like three vertebrates each time. Vats the vertebrate, please. Vats. Vats. Oh my god. Alright, fine. No. Vertebrate. No. 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 What is happening? Why will it not vats the vertebrate? Vats the vertebrate. Oh my god. Bro, it's right there. Did three vertebrates even come that time? Right in the butthole. Right in the face. Oh, your power doesn't mean anything to me, son. Is that the last one? Are we done? I have no red blips. A little late to the party if that's the general showing up. <laughs> I could, I could, I could kill him. Hold on. Oh, hold on. No, oh, I can't hit him now. Bummer. What I was, I just started shooting the bird. The
This is a tanky vertebrate, man. Damn. Wait, I'm allowed to blow up the vertebrate and they're cool with that? <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Why am I allowed to blow up the vertebrate? Nobody's mad. Were any of these people that died over? Oh, just just random weapons over here. Is anybody that died uh, legendary by any chance? I didn't see any legendary. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel. No? Were you legendary? Nope. How about you? Nope. How's everybody doing? Everybody's cool that I tried to kill the, tried to take the, gen the general out? Nobody had any problem with that? That's a little weird. It's a little weird. You should have been very upset at me for doing that. I don't know. Why I was allowed to do that. But I was. I mean, we killed way more bodies, but I guess there's only so many that can render in at a time. This is still fairly impressive. So, like, each time a vertebrate came was three vertebrates at a time. It seemed like Three vertebrates came for every 10%, so that would have been math. <laughs> Hold on, I can do it. So that's 30 vertebrates. And then each vertebrate had how many dudes on it? Is it three dudes per vertebrate? That I'm not sure of. Because if it's three dudes per vertebrate, then that, that would have been 90. What is that? Oh, it's just part of armor. That would have been 90 uh, Brotherhood guys that came. Plus the actual vertebrates. And fortunately... I mean, it doesn't look like we took too much damage at all. But... Unfortunately, none of the people that died look like they were legendaries. Has anybody seen Heather? Doing all this, and I haven't even thought about Heather. I also love how they, do, they don't care that I'm... Oh, this guy got close. That I'm looting all of the dead bodies. So there's blood here. Whose blood is this? That was a lot of blood, too. Alright, let's head towards the general. That's enough silly looting. I don't want the body. Nobody was manning these stations. Does anybody... Anybody know where Heather is? Uh... Okay. After all that, I might go to talk to him, and he might be mad because I, I tried to because I blew up his vertebrate. Which would be kind of funny, honestly. I'm the hero Kavach, but I also took out his vertebrate just for funsies. I used it for target practice. I'm mainly doing this because I'm curious how much weight I can actually carry. Because I have to be 3,000 pounds at least by now. Based on the amount of power armor and stuff that I picked up. Yeah, the crash vertebrates and stuff everywhere is pretty cool. Alright, General Ward. You're not mad that I tried to blow you up. I mean, legit, he was... I mean, he's healed. Wow, 
What happened? You know what happened? Captain. Major, I need your help with something. We do. We want to deploy a salvage team to a facility in the Commonwealth, but they aren't combat ready. We need the facility to be clear of hostiles, and I haven't got any squads to spare right now. Can you take care of this? Uh, I forgot. He, he, uh, gives me, uh, repeatables. I'll take care of it. Sure, Thanks. whatever. Let me know when you've cleared the place out. Watch your back out there. All right, so he's definitely not mad at me if he's still, if he's still giving me quests. Was there anybody f who was flying this joint? Oh, the dead bodies around. All right, General, you you still you're totally fine with me trying to trying to murder you to death. You didn't know that was me. Wait, is this a prison over here? When do we get a prison? Oh, this is more than a prison. This is the prison. And then... Oh, okay. I get it now. Alright, let's we'll start. Stop pussyfooting about. That's another one. Alright, General. Sir. Major, we have no time for pleasantries. We have a situation. I killed everybody. Situation? Can you bring me up to speed on the situation? We've learned the Brotherhood of Steel have occupied Sad Gamma, a missile test side north of here. They're making preparations to target the oil rig. They are successful. We are finished. We're gonna throw everything we have at them. Captain Peterson is familiar with Sad Gamma. He'll spearhead the operation. Talk to him at once. All right, I hope he doesn't want to take this vertebrate. <laughs> Uh, that's why I dropped that safety save. What's up, my man? You're standing in inside your vertebrae. Captain. Major, ready to begin? I don't, I don't know. Uh, what's the plan? What's the plan? The target is Site Gamma, a missile test site. The facility is covered by two anti-air batteries, which will need to be destroyed before we can send in the main force. We will be airdropped just outside of the anti-air's range. Our primary objective will be to disable them. After we've disabled both anti-airs, the main force will arrive. We'll advance to the launch site with vertebrates providing covering fire. Once inside the launch site, we fight our way to the control room and clear it. Ready to go? <laughs> what was the plan again? The target is Site Gamma. The facility is covered. We will be airdropped just All right. after we've disabled. Once inside the launch Ready to go? Um, sure. Let's do Let's it. Do this. For the enclave. How's this gonna work? All right, because I was gonna say we can't can't take the vertebrate I blew up. That's not gonna work. So what? So I don't know. Are we gonna be on a vertebrate again? Depending on, it sounds like we're gonna be in a vertebrate again. Well, as soon as we get out of the vertebrate, we're gonna be ending this episode. I've got your six, Major. All oh, right. First targets to the north of us. That's where the first anti-air control terminal's at. How did you... How'd you fix... How'd you fix the vertebrate? Good job fixing your vertebrate. I'm impressed. Because I have blown it up. Now, this vertebrate doesn't have any... We'll cool. keep the vertebrate safe in case things get hairy. Okay, you do that. All right. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, and Heather's, um, dead? I, <laughs> hopefully Heather's not dead. Um, Heather's still not here for some reason. So where in the world is Heather? If I turn this off, and I go to the miscellaneous, and then I go to the bleed out marker, Nope. Nope. Okay. So... We will start up with this next episode. I mean, we've, we've finished... Heather loves us now. We've finished Heather's stuff for the most part. 
I can actually store my junk here and do some other things as well. But with all that being said, this has been America Rising 2 for the Enclave. I am Loki the Mad Titan. I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Enclave. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe or I'll do you like the Enclave does. I'll release the FAV uh, 9 on you. Have a good night. See ya.